Hey guys, I'm back with another grocery haul for you from Countdown and Pack and Save. This is not a typical weekly shop because we've just had Christmas and we've got lots of bits and pieces and leftovers, but I did need to pick up a few things. I bought some of the things from Countdown. I do click and collect. I shop online and then I just go and collect it. But I also did stop in at Pack and Save because I forgot to get fruit on my Countdown shop and I wanted to get some little sweet peppers that I can only get from Pack and Save. I'm shopping for a family of four. It's me, my husband Grant, and then I have two teenage sons aged 17 and 13 and a half. My weekly budget is typically $325. I know this may seem like a lot, but there's a lot of things I can't eat. I have a very restricted diet, gluten-free, dairy-free, all that kind of stuff. And sometimes cooking everything from scratch works out cheaper, but usually it doesn't, especially if I'm using expensive ingredients. Anyway, here's what I bought for us for this week. First up are the bags from Countdown. When I pick up my shopping, it's all in paper bags. And I do reuse these bags for packaging in my online store, like to stuff boxes with. I have some tissues. Four lots of Uncle Ben's rice. These are super handy for lunches. I put them into salads, like I usually have half a pack, either in salads or I make cauliflower curry like all the time. I eat that pretty much every day and I'll have half a pack with that. I just like the convenience of it and the extra flavor in it. Needed some bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, dried ginger and curry powder. Extra virgin olive oil. This one was on sale. It was the cheapest one. This is the almond milk that I prefer. And then I got a bunch of these little long life milk packs. We use these in the guest house. So this is a business expense. We just pop one of these into the fridge so that if I guess don't drink it, it's not going to go off because it's in a UHT package and they've just got something there to have a cuppa after their journey if they want it. Got a refill for my Glow Lab soap. This stuff smells so amazing. I highly recommend it. I talked about it in a favorites, which I will link over here. And an air freshener for the bathroom in the guest house. I did get some fruit with my countdown shop, including a kilogram of bananas, tomatoes, and sweet potatoes. Some canned goods. We've got two tins of peaches in juice, two tins of pears in juice, and some organic coconut cream. We've got four cans of that. A big bag of baby spinach and an iceberg lettuce because I want to make cheeseburger salad. Some more canned goods, eight tins of baked beans, <laughs> they're just all the same. I've got a pack of toilet paper. Three liters of milk and a package of button mushrooms. A loaf of wheat meal bread and a carton of free range eggs. Normally I buy eggs off my friend but I haven't seen her and I don't know when I'm going to see her again so I thought I'd just buy some. Honey and lamb sausages. These are sausages that I can eat and some chicken wings which are kind of marinated in a spicy marinade. They're not actually very spicy. We all enjoy these on the barbecue. Some frozen tropical fruit and some frozen sweet potato chips which I can eat. And that's it from Countdown. From Pack and Save I got the following. This Phoenix Infusions 
drink. It is so delicious. I talked about this in a Faves and Fails, which I will link here. They had this on special offer. Got the aforementioned little sweet peppers, two cartons of those. We got some apples, some New Zealand rose apples, some apricots. Eight apricots, and I think four or five apples. Four apples. I've got a little punnet of strawberries and one of raspberries because I'm going to make Eaton mess for dessert tonight because we have ch uh, cream left over from Christmas. And I got two cartons of cherries, which I absolutely adore. That's my summer treat. Got some chicken Kiev for the kids and some burgers for the kids because they're on school holiday and eating all the time and then i also bought four avocados and that is it total spend at countdown was 170 dollars and 27 cents and from pack and save was 67 dollars and 48 cents I hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up at Countdown and Pack and Save for our family this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.